analysis. Dr. Tari, welcome to Good Morning Kenya. Thank you. Let's just broach this discussion from that particular point, understanding what KIPRA is and it lies in which um, State Department and what its mandate is. Uh, thanks. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm happy to be here and to talk about uh, our institute, Kenya Institute for Public Policy uh, Research and Analysis. Uh, it was established uh, in 1997 and opened its doors in uh, 1999, which means that we've been in operation for 25 years yeah. uh, last year. And uh, we were established uh, uh, to do one key element and that is uh, to promote uh, uh, evidence-informed uh, public policy making process. And we do that uh, through various programs. One of them is uh, to do capacity building. And we do capacity building through uh, what we call Young Professionals Program, uh, through Kipra Mentorship Program for universities, as well as some uh, level of commercialized uh, program. Uh, we also do uh, our mandate through uh, research. We undertake uh, uh, objective uh, policy uh, research and analysis. And with it, we have uh, our key uh, deliverable, and that is the Kenya Economic Report. Mm -hmm. And then thirdly, which is related to what we are doing today, yes. is uh, networking and engagement. And under that, uh, we are expected to uh, create platforms where uh, stakeholders uh, are able to exchange uh, policy views and uh, to come up with uh, clear directions eh, on a policy issue. Mm -hmm. And in this, uh, we have uh, one of our flagship uh, uh, event, and that is the Kipra Annual Regional Conference, uh, which we are organizing this year uh, in Kilifi uh, uh, County. I hear you. Yeah. Thank you so much. And definitely we'll come to that particular conference to unpack more of it. But before